hello friends welcome to explore youtube channel today in this excel tutorial we will be going to learn how to transfer data from one excel sheet to another as per segmentation reason being this is very highly usable function provide effectiveness in time saving and as well as provide precise information in very less time so let's start our video from here we have a data sheet over here which have presented database of the purchase being made on specific dates and the payment mode the purchase is being done through only two processes online and physical but purchase mode we have used four segment net banking cash credit card debit card and these are the products being made purchase through these processes of purchase as well as unit of measurement we have provided two pieces one kg the quantity of the products and price being paid for the products to be put while purchased so what we have to do we have to represent this data in separate sheets that the payment was made through cash debit card credit card net banking so we have to select first the heading then we have to go to home tab copy the cell click on the cash sheet then press control click on debit card sheet click on credit card sheet click on net banking sheet then go to cell d3 and paste it over there now go to format and here go to column width and increase the width to 18 so you can see here in each of the sheet the heading is being pasted simultaneously now we click on the payment mode and we will copy this and put it over here in cell a1 and here again we increase the width to 18 and now you can see here in other sheets as well cash card debit card that the heading and the specific heading is being pasted now friends what we have to do further is we have to select this database then we go to insert and then go to table here we have to convert our data into a table now our data is being converted into table so we come back to cash sheet and here under the payment mode in cell a2 we write cash similarly we write for debit card and then for credit card similarly for net banking as well so now we have mentioned the name because these names are mentioned to give a reference so we can bring the data over here depending on the separate sheets so we click in the cash sheet over here and we click in the cell d1 here now we go to view and then we go to macros here and record macros so we give a name to a macro as a cache and then hit ok and now go to data over there in the sort and filter click on advanced now you can see here two options are being presented we have to click on the second option to copy to another location and list range that from where we would like to bring our data over here we would like to bring our data from data sheet then we select this range now we click on the criteria range text box and here the reference should be this means cache but here where the cache data should be pasted or displayed underneath these headings so we click ok and now you can see here our data is being mentioned over here now you can see here there is a small button in a blue color over here we click it to stop the macro and similarly we do the processes for debit card sheet as well so we again go back to macro record macros and here we mention the name debit card friends you do not have to give a space over here make sure then we click ok then we go to data and here advanced and here we have to select the sheet and we have to select the criteria and then where this data should be displayed underneath these headings we click ok so you can see here now debit card data has come up over here then we again we come back at the left side bottom we click on this blue button to stop the macro and now we go to credit card sheet and click in the cell d1 we go to view we go to record macro and here we give the name of the sheet 
credit card do not give any space in between click ok go to data go to advanced go to copy to another location select list range from here the table we converted from database and then criteria is this where the data should be copy underneath these headings so we click ok you can see here credit card data has come up over here now we click again to stop the macro here now we go to net banking and you can see here we will go click on d1 cell then we go to view then macros record macros and we mention the name net banking click ok over here now go to data advanced select the second option copy to another location select list range list range should be from the sheet from where we will be bring up the table info and then criteria should be net banking reference and then we select this heading so the our data displayed underneath these headings and again we stop the macros now friends our next step is if we fill any data over here considering these four sheets it should come automatically to these sheets until now we have just recorded the macros so what we have to do is we have to click on this cache sheet click right click and give view click on view code here you have to select worksheet then select here activate then here mention call cache and hit enter and then close this sheet similarly we do this for debit card sheet as well select worksheet select activate here and then mention call debit card and then hit enter and close it similarly go to credit card sheet click on view code select worksheet here select activate and then mention here all credit card here do not give space in between like we did in the macros recording cross it and click on net banking right click give a code select worksheet select here activate and then mention here call net banking and close it now friends if we come here and i put one entry regarding now you can see here i'm first mentioning the physical and the payment mode is cash and this time we purchased vegetables 2 kg and the price is 300 and hit enter now if you come back to cash sheet you can see here or uh, that entry just we entered it has come to its respective sheet similarly we do it for debit card sheet price 500 and now you can see if i come back to debit card our data entry is also mentioned over here similarly you can do it for credit card and the moment i hit enter and come back to credit card sheet you can see here my entry is being entered over here also i'll do for the net banking to 600 and the moment i hit here and come back to credit net banking sheet you can see my data has come up over here so that's the easy way friends you can transfer data from one sheet to another sheet so friends this way we can transfer uh, any number of data from one sheet to another sheet and make sure you follow the right step being presented in the video i hope you like this video friends please like share and subscribe explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you for your effective working thank you for watching this video thank you so much